If you mainly use bubble clouds on your smartwatch, I recommend setting that as the primary use case. This way the Android Wear related cards will appear closer to the top in the bubble cloud settings app on the phone. There are currently four cards dealing with the mini launcher settings. The top card just lets you more easily access different screens of the watch from your phone. In the Wear app launcher card, you can adjust the look and feel of the app clouds on the watch. The watch face launcher card specifically deals with settings when you use bubble cloud as your watch face. The fourth card helps you to configure the contact cloud on the watch. In the wear app launcher card, let's see first the settings which deal with the look of the look and feel. Do you want filled or hollow bubbles or bubbles are not your thing at all? Set the background color separately for the favorites and archive clouds. With the size variance, you can adjust how much difference will be between smaller and bigger bubbles. So much for the general appearance of the clouds. For more granular control, tap the button to access the all new cloud editor. The first time you enter, it will take a little longer for all the bubble images to be loaded from the watch. You see a long list showing all the bubbles in the watch clouds. There are a lot of controls here. The tips and legends appear to orient you in the beginning. These legends will disappear once you read through them, but you can re-enable them from the menu. Also, don't be afraid to change anything in the cloud editor. With the other menu items, you see you can restore the defaults in two separate steps, either the colors or the sizes. Each list item has a symbol on the left. You see a star marks items in the favorite cloud. A button symbol is for the bubbles in the archive. New option, you can now hide items too. They will dim and they will have a red X in front of them. You can filter the list to only show stored, archived or hidden items using the icons in the top left. You can tap the symbol to move items between clouds or long tap to hide an app from the cloud. Once hidden, you will have to adjust the size to restore the bubble. Use the arrows to change the bubble size. Positive values mean the bubble is in the favorites, negative values for the archive. Hidden items have the size zero. The absolute value controls how big the bubble will appear. You can also sort the list by these sizes using the icons in the top right. Tap the bubble in the list item to change its color for apps or select analog or digital watch face for the clock bubble or adjust the behavior of other bubbles such as the watch face lock, whether it should also disable clock bubble tap or not. Tap the lock on the watch to activate touch protection. Apps will not be accidentally started while the lock is on. If you exclude the clock bubble from the lock, you will still be able to tap it to access regular watch face functions. Or if it is also locked, the only way to release the lock is to tap the lock icon again. Long pressing the lock icon toggles auto locking. When the bubble is yellow, you don't have to remember to re-engage the lock. Okay, back to the list. You can assign various live information displays to the bubbles by tapping the plus I symbol on the right. Instead of the app icon, the bubble will show the selected information, but when tapped, the original app will be launched. This allows for better use of the screen real estate and have the app connections, which make the most sense to you. We can assign the date info to our favorite calendar app, for example, or the battery info to the task manager, or today's weather to our favorite weather app. When you have live info assigned to a bubble, the original app icon shows up on the right in place of the plus i symbol. This is how you can tell that a live info was assigned to that bubble. 
Tapping the bubble in the list will let you configure the live info. Select Celsius or Fahrenheit for weather, or pick whether the other weather bubble should show tomorrow's forecast or the current weather for another city. To clear an assignment, just assign the same information to a different app, or tap the app icon on the right and select it in the Assign screen too. Finally, by enabling the blue lock, you can make an app always open in sticky mode without the need of double tapping it on the watch. And with the red lock, you can enable the new force timeout for bad behaving apps. Some apps are programmed to keep the screen on infinitely. They keep draining the battery even when you don't need them anymore. If you find yourself forgetting to exit these apps, Force Timeout will send them to the background after a few seconds, unless you tap the time extension on the top. The display of your watch will keep showing the cloud as long as you are in the cloud editor, so you can easily see the effects of your changes. Cloud modifications are sent to the watch in batches, but you can tap the sync icon to refresh the cloud on the watch right away. You don't have to wait for the next refresh. Let's return now to the app launcher card and we've seen how to change the look. Now about the feel, normally the bubbles change size with use. If on the other hand, you made changes to the sizes of the bubbles in the cloud editor, you will probably want to keep these. So be sure to freeze the clouds with the next controls. You can have the favorites be frozen while let the archive evolve and rearrange with use. This is why you can freeze them separately. Normally, long pressing a bubble on the watch moves it between clouds. If you only change the bubble location in the cloud editor, you can disable this function to prevent accidental long presses. The app opening animation is only recommended for watch face launcher, not in app tree mode, unless you use a watch face which was enabled to interact with Bubble Cloud. This concludes the general Wear App Launcher settings, but there are some specifics related to the watch face mode. On LCD displays, Moto 360 or Sony Smartwatch 3, it is best to keep the bubbles in ambient mode too, because there is no screen burning to be concerned about. On smartwatches with OLED screens, on the other hand, you can save a lot of power and extend the life of your display by enabling one of the ambient screen modes. It is advisable to also turn on burning prevention, which will rearrange the cloud periodically to prevent screen burning in certain locations of the screen. If you find touches from the cuff of your shirt often launches apps accidentally, you can enable reduced touch sensitivity. This problem was reported from Asus and Sony watches. If this doesn't help, the watch face lock is a sure solution. Enable it from the cloud editor. By default, peak cards are translucent and the smaller kind. If you change it, you will have to switch to a different watch face and back for the changes to take effect. This is an Android Wear limitation. Use the last slider to adjust the amount of extra vibration when a new peak card appears. The leftmost position disables the extra vibration. The product video has more information on the Wear contact clouds. Press the yellow contact bubble in this card for the advanced options.